It's officially 2K day and I hope you guys didn't think I was going to leave the big dogs out of the picture when it came to the two way builds for NBA 2K23. So today we're going to be working on our Anthony Davis, Joel Embiid builds for you guys. And hey, I believe this is probably going to be one of the better big man builds that can be all around, right? Not a liability from the perimeter, but also very effective on the inside, especially in pick and roll situations, pick and pop situations. So outside of that, my people, make sure to subscribe and hey, let's go ahead and get into it. I see the money won't pick and roll, even go. I see the money won't pick and roll, even go. I see the money won't pick and roll. So first things first, we're going to put this at the center position. And the main reason we're doing this is for my people that are going to be playing the Rex solo a lot of times, or they're going to be playing matchmaking 3v3. If you're going to be playing with another big, this will automatically default you to the power forward position because they're most likely going to be bigger than you. But say you're going in on your own and you want to be the center most of the time, and there isn't another big, hey, this will be your spot to be able to handle business. So we're going to go ahead and go with any hand and we're going to say big number 99 out here you know what i mean big dogs so let's go ahead and go into the build now and we're gonna go 611 238 pounds and you'll see why here shortly while we do that uh body shape it really doesn't matter i prefer built or defined it depends on what you want to do but we're going to go with the built body type on this one so this isn't going to be the traditional big this is going to be more of a hybrid defender that can also help in a lot of situations on the floor and so we're going to get our finishing up to a point that i feel like we're going to be more than competent to be able to handle business around the rim especially in pick and roll situations and that's going to be the thing we're looking for so you see we got a 60 close shot 70 driving layup 80 driving dunk and a 90 standing dunk so that gets us that rise up on gold and so we're in a good position there next thing we're gonna go into is shooting I'm gonna take this up to 80 and i know some of you may be thinking this is a little overkill for a big man but like i said this is an anthony davis joel and b type of build the goal here is to not be a liability on the floor so let's say if you're in a situation where you're playing with two guards and one of them is a pure lock that literally has no playmaking, no passing ability, and also really can't be effective except for on defense and transition. You ain't trying to handle that type of stress. So with that, we're going to go ahead and take the ball handle, max it out at 70. What does that do? That allows us to get quick first step on bronze. And let me tell you, for my bigs out there, that'll really give you an opportunity to work out of the triple threat, especially going against slower bigs, and then also working from the perimeter when you wanna take that and go straight into the post. Now, we're gonna skip defense for a second and go to our physicals. Max out speed, max out acceleration. That's already a good look in itself, right? Take strength all the way up. And what does that affect? We now get gold brick wall which gives you a little bit more resistance versus those large bigs, the seven threes that are gonna be playing more on the inside. But like I said, right, if they're playing on the inside, your winning is gonna be on the outside when you can actually play the corner or you can play the hash and you can pick and pop in scenarios where they can't guard you out there. Uh, we're gonna stick our vertical at 65 and take our stamina up to 90. So now we're ready to attack the defense, go to 93 for the interior defense. I think that's a solid area, especially when you're trying to contest at the rim. Then we're going to max perimeter defense, surprisingly enough, because we need our bigs to at least be able to access the challenger badge. Uh, that's going to be something where if they accidentally get switched out, right, you still got 75 speed. 68 acceleration to where you can at least handle a light contest and this is the reason why you see bigs who contest on the perimeter and sometimes they're like seven three but they have zero perimeter defense and the point guard greens is because they don't have perimeter defense from there we're gonna max out this block rating you know the drill pogo stick anchor chase down artists we're gonna be in a good position with this and after that take this defensive rebound up to 93 and then from there hey we have a solid position with where this build is at now we're gonna bring our free throw up to 72 because we want to be able to handle ourselves if we go to the free throw line if you're a big man and you get fouled a lot look you want to be able to knock those down 
That way, if a big is trying to play that way or a power forward, you're gonna handle business. Then we're gonna take our steal, bring it up to 48. And so now you also get access to bronze interceptor. And like I mentioned in the previous video, if you didn't see my Jimmy Butler build, hey, you get plus four badge points if you complete welcome to the league quests. So keep that in mind, rather you wanna add that to finishing, you can add that to shooting, some of you may want to add it to playmaking or you can add it to defense and you can get 29 badge points. Like I said, right, this is a all around big build, but mainly on the defensive side. So we're going to go ahead and go continue with this and the takeovers we get, right? You get limitless range with the big already. That's a good look. You get stuff blocks, paint intimidation and interior badge drop. So what we're going to do is go with paint intimidation and then we're going to limitless range. If we can access that on a big eight, it's gonna be some scary hours out there. From there, make the build complete. Let's go ahead and see what the big dog got access to out here. Joel Embiid, Anthony Davis, Christian Wood, three guys that'll make you pay on both sides of the floor. The two-way inside out score. Let me tell you guys, hey, I think this is one of the ones that's going to be stronger for you. You have the resistance with brick wall on gold. You also have the speed and ability to move around the floor. And yes, do you have crazy post control? No. But how many teams have you played with in 2K that will actually feed the big and allow them to work in the post? Most of the time you're going to be in pick and roll, pick and pop, slipping to the rim. And so this is the thing you want to take advantage of. So now we got the big dog settled when it came to the build, the two way inside out score. And hey, I love the name, of course, with two way in it. So let's go ahead and test our build just so you can see the badges that we're going to go with with this. First things first, we get slithery and limitless takeoff as tier ones. So let's go ahead and invest in those because we're going to be in a lot of pick and go to the rim situations. And I think limitless takeoff is going to help us in a lot of those situations. Then of course, drop stepper. I know it's only on bronze, but still to have it at all is gonna be a good look whatsoever. And then I think, you know, we can go dream shake, go slithery just to make it a little bit easier for yourself and post spin technician if you're about that. So as far as our setup, I think this is a good look. Once again, fast twitch, rise up, bully. These could be interchangeable how you want to set them up. So this is just a template for you. But as far as shooting badges, man, you have a really good look. Now, if you're going to be working from the mid range and you're one of those guys, it boosts the effectiveness of pull up spin shots and fadeaways. And like I said, you have a 70 mid range shot with this build and you're already 6'11". So if you're matched up on a smaller PG, you might as well take that shot. Uh, you got slippery off ball so you can pick and pop with ease. And then, of course, if you're grinding my career, please put on volume shooter in some capacity. But now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other badges. Increase the ability to knock down perimeter shots. Claymore might as well go ahead and add that to the bunch. But then you get access to limitless range. We're going to core this by any means out here. We want to make sure we have that as much as possible. And then we have five badge points available from there. You can add catch and shoot at least on bronze. So with that, you know, this is just a random assortment. But if you notice, most of these badges either increase your movement or increase your ability to knock down shots, i.e. mini magician, a boost to your mid range shooting uh, from there, playmaking. Like you said, right, you even get clamp breaker as a perimeter tier one badge for you. So from there, you can add that as a tier one, you know, vice grip. I think that'll be good because it says increases a player's ability to secure the ball against still attempts after obtaining possession from a rebound. So, you know, that's something people do. You still get quick first step and also break starter. And with the playmaking badges, I think the tier three is not going to make or break the build, right? This is something you could equip if you wanted to. But outside of that, you get the quick first step, you get break starter and you can upgrade that over time. You get vice grip, clamp breaker. You can always get rid of that if you want to, too. But this is just for the video's purpose, just to give you an example. And from there, defensively, right, you get challenger, uh, you get ankle braces if you do get switched off, uh, interceptor already pick dodger workhorse 
that's going to be something that you can use. And so with these situations, right, like you're in a good place with this build to do some special things, especially if you get switched off on a guard in those situations. So let's go ahead and add, say, uh, box out beast to this. You know, we can go post move lockdown and we're just putting stuff on just to put it on. But now we can core brick wall that saves us seven there. Then you can go anchor all the way. And then of course you still have seven left, which will give you enough to get gold rebound chaser. So guys, hey, I think this is a really good look for a build all the way around um, to have three tier three badges with this build. Hey, it, it truly is special. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because I wanted to make sure I just help you guys out with the big man build of sort. Let me know your badge set up too. And I'll see you in the next one. Only thing showing this late be the freak show. Call for your come, I'll be checking through the peephole.